Hi children, Ola warmly welcome to Ape City Panthea. Today we are going to start the third video of your first lesson. Your first lesson is importance of computer. Previously, teacher has uploaded two videos related to this lesson. So we will start the video. Before moving to this video, please subscribe teacher's channel then you will be able to notify when teacher upload the new video. Today we will start with your workbook. In the last video, teacher told you please do the activity 1.2 in your workbook and teacher will start the next video with that workbook activity. So we will start with that. Uh, take a red pen and make uh, correct marks when if your answers are correct. First one, write three examples for input devices. You know there are many input devices. Here teacher has mentioned few examples. Mouse, keyboard, web camera, microphone. Then you can also take barcode reader, CCTV are few examples for input devices. Second question, write three examples for output devices. Monitor, printer, projector, speaker, headset. Those are the examples for output devices. Third question, identify storage devices in the pictures. The first one, letter A mentioned a hard disk, but it is an internal hard disk. Second one, picture B is a also a hard disk, but it is an external hard disk. Letter C is a pen drive. Letter D is a CD, compact disk. And letter E is a RAM random access memory let's move to the fourth question name the devices shown below letter a is a printer letter b is a monitor letter c is a system unit letter d is a microphone letter e is a mouse letter f keyboard letter g is a speaker I think you, your answers are correct. Okay, Puta, then we will move to the fifth question. Categorize the devices correctly and write in the following grid. It's asked about the devices we have written in question 4. Then printer is a output device. System unit, it is not the input or a output. So, we will move, to, move it to, into other category. Then, monitor is a output device. Then, microphone is a input device. Mouse is a input device. Then keyboard also a input device. Then the letter G is for speaker. So speaker is also a output device. Then we will move to the sixth question. Prepare a list of devices which can be seen in the school computer laboratory in addition to above devices. In addition to above devices, what are the above devices? Mouse, microphone, keyboard, monitor, printer, speaker, system. Those are the above mentioned devices. What are the devices that you can see in your school laboratory except these devices? Main devices will come as ever. Putalage laboratory, school laboratory, one of the devices. 
scanners they have maybe scanners web camera headsets projectors dvd cd pen drive there are many more devices in your laboratory seventh question enter the list of items you have prepared ah uh, here you have prepared scanner web camera headset projector cd and dvd now you have to categorize these devices into input output and other so scanner is a input device web camera also a input device then headset and projector is a output device cd and dvd are storage devices so we will move it to other category <clears throat> eight question write five examples for embedded computer devices that are used in day to day life oya lage edinida jeevithe bhavitha karana embedded computers list ekak so smart tv smartphone washing machine smart watches modern cars and traffic lights are the examples there may be more examples in your answers if they are correct please put a correct mark now question mention three advantages of using embedded computer device संधान कराने लगते हैं एम्बेडेड डिवाइसेस वाले एडवांटेजेस वासी। Here teacher has mentioned four advantages. Embedded computer devices work very fast. Embedded computer devices work very fast. नहीं तो पारी गाने का वेग एंग आड़े करने हैं and highly reliable. हरी में विश्वास नहीं है. Very efficient. car reaction use mass production mass production can putte veda goda vishala nishpadana sandaha thamai bhavitha kana washing machine ya got if you are consider about a washing machine using a washing machine you can wash many clothes at a one time the washing machine ya got to putte varata ek para washing machine ne kere di goda khodan pula ek na mass production can veda गोड़ा के कपार कर गाना पुला इट्स अ मास प्रोडक्शन सो एम्बेडेड कंप्यूटर डिवाइसेस यूज्ड फॉर मास प्रोडक्शन फ्रॉम दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टॉप द एक्टिविटी 1.2 ओके लेट्स मूव फॉर द टुडे लेसन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर यू कैन सी there are may be there are three categories as okay now we are we are go okay today we are going to learn about importance of software software mean rudukan when we consider about computer system there are mainly three parts pariganaka paddhatiya gattot putte pradana kotas thunai those are hardware software and user dudanga mrudukanga saha parishilaka kiyala kiyana there are three parts in the computer system hardware software and user let's learn about what is hardware what is software and what is user hardware you know about hardware all the things that you can touch in a computer physical devices kel kiyana all the things that you can touch in a computer parigana ke oyata athin allanna pula hama deyama drudanga all the things that you can touch in a computer <coughs> physical devices bautika upang i think uta you are write in the note while watching the video please remember to write down the notes okay what are the hardware you know 
in the second video you have learned many more hardware devices what are they monitor system unit keyboard mouse ups uh, then speakers printers projector router those are the examples for hardware hardware mean that you can touch you can touch the monitor you can touch the system unit you can touch the keyboard ඔයාලට අල්ලන්න පුළුවන් පුතේ කීබෝඩ් එක මවුස් එක මොනිටර් එක ප්‍රින්ටර් එක ප්‍රොජෙක්ට් එක you can touch that's why we are called as drudang drudang hardware you can touch those things then we are going to learn about user in singular we called as parishreelaka user is a person who operates the computer person who operates the computer pariganakaya parishilanaya karanam palanaya karan kriyatmaka karana pudgalayata api kiyana user emata parishilakaya kiyala person who operates the computer then we are going to learn about software it is the our topic we have learn about user and also hardware then we are going to learn about pute software in singular we called as prudukam a software is a set of programs designed to execute certain tasks by using a computer a software is a set of programs designed to execute certain task by using a computer software ekak kiyanne pariganaka wada satahan wala ekathwa a set of programs මේ set of programs වල මොනවද කරන්නේ design to execute certain tasks by using a computer software එක software එක කියන්නේ පරිගණක වැඩසටහන් වල එකතුවක් මේ පරිගණක වැඩසටහන් නිර්මාණය කරලා තියෙන්නේ මොකද්ද පරිගණකයේ භාවිතයෙන් යම් යම් කාර්යයන් කරගන්න නම් පරිගණකයේ භාවිතයෙන් යම් යම් කාර්යයක් කරගන්න නිර්මාණය වුණු පරිගණක වැඩසටහන් වලට අපි කියනවා මෘදුකාංගයක් කියලා so software is a set of programs you have to remember those things software is a set of programs designed to execute certain task by using a computer then we now we know about software so why we need the software ai apita software ekak oni puthi සොෆ්ට්වෙයාර්ස් අපිට අවශ්‍ය වෙන්නේ ඔයාල දන්නවා ඔයාලගේ පරිගණක වල ඒ වගේම ස්මාර්ට් ෆෝන් වලට ඔයගොල්ලෝ සොෆ්ට්වෙයාර් දානවා you have you are using softwares for your mobile phones as well as for your laptop and desktop computers so why why you are using a software if not why you are downloading a software there are many reasons so here teacher has mentioned a few needs of software yes by using a paint software you can draw an image so draw an image to play or play a song or video videos balanna songs ahanna you can use a softwares there are many many softwares then play games you can play games computer games also a software now we are going to learn about various kind of software you know puta we can download various kind of softwares to our phones and laptop or desktop devices what are the device, what are the compu- computer programs or what are the computer softwares that you can use various kind of software there are many more softwares in the world first one educational software adhyapanika rudukanga then word processing software vadan sakasum rudukang then business software vyaparika rudukang image editing software ru chaya roopa sanskarana rudukang then medical software saukya matam aushadha ha sambandha rudukang video editing software tapikana video sanskarana rudukang then video games video games computer games yeah we use uh, ms word 
software for word processing api lipi lekhana hadanna puthe word docu word ms word kiyana mudukaange pavichi karana we use ms word for word processing purposes then computer games video editing software multimedia to media player to listen to songs and videos then painting softwares to draw paints so today today in the today lesson we learned about there are three main categories in a computer system pariganaka paddhatiye pradhan kotas tunai monawada they are hardware software and live user so we learned about hardware all the things that you can touch in your computer we called as hardware so you know many more examples for hardware and then we learn about who is a user user is the person who operates the computer then we learn about software what is software software is a set of programs designed to execute certain tasks by using a computer then we have learn another topic need for a software why we need a software to draw up there are many more needs to draw an image to play songs video to edit the image to edit a video or audio to play games to make documents to send emails there are many more need of software then we we have learned various kind of software here teacher has mentioned a few examples but there are many more softwares in the world educational software word processing vadan sakasum mudukanga then business software image editing software video editing software medical software and also video game okay i think today video is very clear for you and please write down notes while you are watching the video and do the activities okay in the uh, teacher will start the fourth video of this lesson with the activity 1.3 i think now you can do the activity 1.3 okay please do the activity then teacher will start the next video with the activity answers and if you are like th this video please subscribe teachers channel and share this video with your school friends okay we will meet with the fourth video of with this lesson so goodbye all of you